It's going to be another one of those videos of incorrect bee teaching. That colony right there, you see part of the hive body, has been in that window turned so that they did not get any direct sunlight into the screened off entrance so they could not orient to the UV light. It's been that way for 15 days. Traditional teaching is three days after you move them in the same apiary. You can open them up and they'll be confused and they'll reorient to this location and that's where they'll stay. Well, as you can see, they're orienting. These are going to be the ones that have hatched out since the last time that they were able to fly and have graduated into that job of forager. But we're going to take a slow walk down here to where they were originally located at 15 days ago because one buzzes in my ear and tells me sweet nothings we're going to walk down here and I'm going to show you that that teaching is incorrect there's a lot of things in beekeeping that they teach that are incorrect some even are still taught even though they are have been debunked as false and I'm about to debunk the three day rule Same thing goes with, you can't take a queen out of a queen right colony and introduce it into a colony that has recently been queenless 24 hours. Got a video on that. I'll try to remember to link that. But right here is where this colony came from. Actually the spot in between those two. There is no live colony on this end of the hive stand because I've moved them all. The only live one is right here. So these are definitely not drift from there. These are foragers that are still alive from when I put them in that box and moved them basically 16 days ago. So your three day rule doesn't work. They do not automatically reset their location to where the new colonies moved. Thanks for watching Wooly Bees. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. It's a cold day for January 2.